Do you go to the place that offers the best kids meals? Or do you choose the one with the best fries? Or is there one burger that really stands out from the pack? In the fast food world, there are many options for burger lovers. You can drive down some streets and take your pick from McDonald's, Wendy's, Burger King, Hardee's, Jack in the Box, Bebop's, and more. If you're really feeling crazy and have the time, you can mix and match. Grab a cheeseburger from one place and fries from another. But where do you go when you're not in the mood for a burger? That's when you go to Chick-fil-A. When you're in the mood for something other than another burger, Chick-fil-A is there. You won't find a burger inside Chick-fil-A, but you'll find plenty of options for your non-burger cravings. They have lemonade, waffle fries, mac and cheese, fruit cups, and of course, chicken, including nuggets, sandwiches, and chicken fingers. There are a handful of fast food places that do chicken, but none of them have the reach of Chick-fil-A. In most places, Chick-fil-A is the one alternative to burgers, which is why at Chick-fil-A, you have to think outside the burger. It's a play on the old saying, think outside the box, which is really a phrase that means don't settle for ordinary, get creative. Today, we want to inspire you to not settle for the ordinary. Rather than facing life problems alone, we want to tap into some wisdom from the ages and think inside the Bible. God gave us the Bible to give us wisdom and direction beyond our years. If we learn to use the Bible the way God intended it, we will find we can think outside the box by thinking inside the Bible. Today, our Bible passage is from 2 Timothy 3, verses 10 through 17. But you, Timothy, certainly know what I teach and how I live and what my purpose in life is. You know my faith, my patience, my love, and my endurance. You know how much persecution and suffering I have endured. You know all about how I was persecuted in Antioch, Iconium, and Lystra, but the Lord rescued me from all of it. Yes, and everyone who wants to live a godly life in Christ Jesus will suffer persecution, but evil people and impostors will flourish. They will deceive others and will themselves be deceived. But you must remain faithful to the things you have been taught. You know they are true, for you know you can trust those who taught you. You have been taught the Holy Scriptures from childhood, and they have given you the wisdom to receive the salvation that comes by trusting in Christ Jesus. All Scripture is inspired by God and is useful to teach us what is true and to make us realize what is wrong in our lives. It corrects us when we are wrong and teaches us to do what is right. God uses it to prepare and equip his people to do every good work. Timothy was a young pastor and a student of Paul. For many years, Timothy relied on Paul for advice. But as Paul wrote this letter, we, he knew it was, he was not going to be around for much longer. Paul urged Timothy not to go it alone, and he told him to think inside the Bible. Timothy had been taught from a young age the importance of learning scripture, and Paul reminded Timothy to rely on the Bible. God gave us the Bible so that we could have his wisdom at our fingertips. The same words that encouraged Timothy as a young pastor are available to inspire us today. We can learn from these 66 books how to face any challenge that comes our way. When you're facing a problem, when you have a tough decision, don't do it alone. Think inside the Bible and get the wisdom that you need. The Bible is the Word of God. It teaches us who we are, who created us, and why we were created. It tells us how sin entered and corrupted the world. And it tells us the story of how Jesus came to save us from our sin. And between these stories are stories about countless men and women that show us the right way, and sometimes the wrong way, to deal with life's problems. Over and over, we see the men and women who leaned on God for their wisdom made the right choice. We see good kings leading the people in worship. We see ordinary men becoming extraordinary evangelists for Jesus. We see ordinary people standing up for justice and becoming heroes. Not because they were great, but because God was great. In every circumstance where we see someone doing something right, we see that they did not do it alone. God was with them. These heroes of faith relied on God and the Word of God to help them have courage and make the right choices. They got on their knees and prayed when they were afraid. They looked to the scriptures for answers. Some, like Timothy, leaned on their spiritual mentors like Paul to help guide them. They did not go it alone. They thought inside the Bible. Kids, you're all going to face many challenges in this life. Challenges to stand up for what's right. Challenges to stand up to temptation. Challenges you can't even imagine. Sometimes you'll see them coming. Some will come out of nowhere. 
whatever the case may be, you do not have to face these challenges alone. Think inside the Bible. Go to the source of all wisdom and ask God to speak to you. Take your Bible to a parent or another spiritual mentor if need be. Read the Bible with them and ask them to help you understand. Pray and God will give you the answers. God loves when we seek him out in tough times and he will show us the way if we are willing to listen. You weren't meant to live this life alone and you aren't meant to make these tough choices alone. We can rely on God for answers. We can rely on, rely on the Bible to guide our steps. When life gets hard, think inside the Bible. God will show you the way, just as he did for Timothy. Let's close with a prayer. Dear God, thank you for giving us the Bible to help us find our way. In Jesus' name, amen.